Hi, it's Cameron, and I'm going to talk about R plasmids and their relationship with antibiotic resistance. R plasmids were originally discovered when antibiotic drugs no longer worked as they once did. Um, one day, uh, doctors and nurses began to realize that, wow, these drugs that we were using, like ampicillin or penicillin, wouldn't work well against a certain disease or a certain strain of bacteria. And what they found out was that these bacteria were surviving and in, in thriving, really, um, in the presence of an antibiotic drug because they had a resistance gene that um, helped the bacteria survive and reproduce even though they were in the presence of an antibiotic drug. Um, and it's pretty obvious, but the R for uh, resistance is what where you get the name R plasmid from. Um, so, for example, whenever you expose like a whole bacterial population of a wide range of phenotypes, um, with an antibiotic drug like ampicillin or penicillin, those with an R plasmid, um, that is to say those with the resistance genes, are the ones that survive because everything else dies. They can't reproduce in a harsh environment where the antibiotics will kill them off. Um, so the ones that survive, as you can see by the image, that second generation of dark red circles, um, when they go on to reproduce, that all of their offspring will now be um, of that same resistance and they can even reproduce like that in a, a dish, a petri dish full of extremely harsh antibiotic drugs and those drugs will have little to no effect because of the resistance that's developed um, and this is an evolutionary response uh, in order to create the most fit um, type of bacteria uh, because those that die off from the drugs aren't as fit um, at the time as those with the R plasmids and the resistance genes. And now if we have time this will be a video to add more information on the subject.